you to everyone here. Everyone's sexy, everyone's groundbreaking, but I wanted to give you an opportunity. Does anyone have any questions for the panel? Anyone? Because of um, Salate's leaving, like, right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, this one kind of goes out to all of you because you all touched on it in a, in a little way. Um, as a performer, I, even after like three or four years on the stage, I still find it hard to go into a space that is an unfamiliar community. And I just wanted to kind of hear about your experience. Did you find that hard at the beginning? And if you don't now, how did you get to that point? I can. Kia ora. Um, yeah, I did. I found it difficult at the beginning, um, but I think I started going into these spaces as like a small group first. And then when I um, started doing my own independent gigs, I was really, I just relied on the fact that before I leave the house, I'm good. Like me and myself, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I've got my shit together. I know so that sort of similar to what you were saying about like harnessing your energy. I'm just, as long as you harness your energy, like before you commence into these spaces, and yeah, that's how I do it, if I'm making sense. Yeah, I just, I, I make sure that I'm good there, do whatever the fuck, and then come back and I'm still good, you know? And sometimes it's fucked, you know? Sometimes I, I don't have a good experience. Like, I remember one time I did a gig in Para and half the crowd left as soon as I got there. And I was like, gag, I'm here, but I'm booked. I'm gonna do it anyway, you know? And we did it, we did the thing. And then, but after that, I just learned a lesson and more so it's like, okay, this is what I can do next time. This is what I say no to. Um, yep. Yeah. But just knowing that like, you're like, you hold what's within you, you know? It's no like other people's projection of their comfortability of like how you should be, it's fuck them. <laughs> you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter because they're not the ones that's putting you to sleep, you know, at night. They're not paying the bills, period. Um, I'll just add a little bit to that where I think my performance practice relies heavily on the, the space between performer and audience and um, often I think I, I'd like to sit in those spaces um, and that is how I've moved through working with like I don't I often when, when I perform there is an audience performer it's all together like it's molded in one one space um, and I'm, I'm really interested in that and the more fucked the better for me so it's like the more questions from an audience in when I'm performing the more interested in it like why did they do that why did you know I was watching the tie to my power who is everybody knows um, you've heard of <laughs> um, the uh, artist one of her works where she's literally suspended by an ice block um, and I don't know if anyone's seen that work and um, by rope and she, it's it's like she's pretty much like in pain and water torture yeah and she's like and two people went up to the um, to her and like you know like did a photo in front of it, it was right in front of the MCA and I was horrified and I spoke to her about it afterwards and she was like that's what I want I want the I want the audience to, to be a part of that work in in ways that yeah they're not thinking about climate change and they're not thinking about my work they're thinking about a photo opportunity um, which is interesting to mold that into the work and that's how I've fr like framed my work as a performance artist is the gap between or the space between or interested in exploring that <laughs> Yeah, I think it's you, uh, like what you said, you put yourself in a position to be like, hey, this is what I'm doing and I've, I've got to be good with that and it's also timed so it'll be over soon yeah. if it's <laughs> that kind of a gig, you know. Um, and so, yeah, I think what you said earlier about feeling level, trying to be level in these situations and not um, reactive and reactive when you want to be, you know, it's up to you. Yeah, I agree with everything you said and I'm also someone that has worked through a lot of social anxiety in my life so I can recognise getting into spaces and being completely freaked out and I still get that sometimes. But I think, uh, yeah, doing things for yourself ahead of your gigs to or your shows to ground yourself is really important. I found, like, I love a meditation and a green tea. That's, like, my thing that I should be like, okay, I'm anchoring myself to that. I'm going to play this show. 
It could be awful, it could be amazing, we'll see what happens. And managing your own expectations, I found that really helpful. Thank may you, guys. I, may, may I ask what you all do to, like, before you get on stage? I'm really interested, sorry. <laughs> oh. yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna be honest, I smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I always, um, I always just have to have a moment with myself, yep. like whether that'll be just, I need to, it, it, it just needs to be a regular moment. Yeah. I just need to have, it doesn't need to always be like a sesh, but it's just like, maybe I just need to have a smoke, a coffee, a chai, yeah, yeah. somewhere just to, it's the Virgo. The, there's always, um, with me in Jamaica, there's always like, you good, you good, you good, silence, you good, you good. Silence, yeah. and then like there's just always the regular check-in, and then always the "Are you okay?" kind of like check-in, and then I think because we're also Virgo, we actually both need to just have some quiet time, and then it's it's almost like um, a character change when we get up there. Yeah. It's that switch, like, and you have to like nurture that switch because I still like even this week, honestly, every one of these shows that I did this week, there's still like that bump of like. You know, but it's like, instead of like running away, I love the triumphant feeling when I get over it. Yeah. And then I finish yeah. those walks and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm like, I can fucking do it. You know, yeah. yes. You know, it literally like, that's, that's what I love. It's all about like, cause I get anxious. Like we, we all do, you know, don't like this front, like, yeah. <laughs> Miss, yeah, period. We all do, literally. Good self-talk for me, it, yeah. like, you know, just making sure that I'm saying positive things to myself. Yeah. Good. Thanks. Yeah. So corny. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> yeah, is there any other questions? Because we're about to wrap up in five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for coming. Thank you, Samia, Salote, Ibatonye, and Jamaica Moana. And the TIT. Thank you to the TIT. And FBI. FBI TIT.